It's time to talk some high school football. We are in week eight of the season on Fox 23 Sports Director Nathan Thompson, along with the Tulsa World's Barry Lewis. We're going to go over the top five games uh, per Barry Lewis in his Tuesday edition of the Tulsa World. He has his top five games uh, coming up this week. You see it right there. You can also get it on okprepsextra.com. In game number one, uh, District 6A 1-1 showdown, big game, Edmond Santa Fe at Broken Arrow. Yes, uh, the last two years, Santa Fe has won a couple of thrillers over Broken Arrow. Now Broken Arrow is looking to turn the tables. The stakes are high in this game because the winner is likely going to get a home playoff game in the quarterfinals, mm -hmm. and the loser will probably have to play at Owasso in the quarterfinals. So mm -hmm. that's you want to avoid that trip. Uh, <laughs> the Rams look very tough. Uh, so uh, the stakes are high in this game. Uh, some great major college talent will be on the field. That adds to the luster of this game. Um, a future Bedlam preview is you got the <laughs> Chetron brothers from Edmond Santa Fe, and they'll be going up against R.J. Spears Jennings there you go. going to OU. So uh, uh, a lot of talent, a lot at stake. Should be fun at Broken Arrow on Friday night. And game number two, Choctaw at Sand Springs, another big time showdown right here. Sand Springs is kind of wrapping up this gauntlet of games we've been talking about all, all season long with, with the first Booker T, which they had a really good showing against. They almost won that game. Big speed, no one almost wins that game. <laughs> and now Choctaw, so they're looking for their first win in this string of really tough games. And I think Sand Springs has a, a good shot at pulling off the win. It really needs to win if it wants to finish higher than fourth in mm -hmm. the district. And you want to avoid finishing fourth if you can he'd like to finish higher because if you finish fourth then you play at uh, the other district's champion on the road in the playoffs and that's going to be a tough task so uh choctaw and sand springs have both been routed by bixby in the last two weeks but again who hasn't been, as you've <laughs> said and uh so i think for sand springs i think if sand springs can put last week's game in the past the, or the dis in the disappointment of losing to booker t two weeks earlier i think sand springs has a chance to bounce back and get the win over choctaw in a game that should go down to the wire and then game number three union at norman north union undefeated in district play kind of their last hurdle it toward a district championship last big hurdle for sure if they win this one it looks like they'll be the district champs Yes, uh, this will be Union's last serious test in, this, in the regular season. Uh, last year, Norman North played Union even for about a half, then Union took command, and I look for the same thing to happen this week. Rovon Banks, who's been Union's quarterback the last three games after moving over from running back, uh, he's had two big games against Norman North the past two years, and so I expect him to have another big game this week. And then game number four, Mustang at Owasso uh, in the same district here. The winner of this one is going to probably finish second in district and have a first round home game. And uh, I think you think the Rams have a big favorite in this one. Yeah, so Owasso's never lost a Mustang, and I don't anticipate that will change <laughs> this week. But you never know. I mean, Owasso, I mean, we have saw it like in college and pro games this past weekend, and we, well, we see it pretty regularly, that uh, just because you outplay a team, you know, game them from by 200, 250 yards does not automatically mean you're going to win if you commit turnovers. So, and are unfocused and commit stupid penalties. So, but if Owasso comes out focused, which I think it will, um, I think Owasso should handle Mustang. And then wrapping up the top five, Kawita Shawnee, the Tigers trying to bounce back after Mikhail Shirelli uh, gave it to him last week in the in the Fox 23 game of the week. So, let's see if uh, Kawita can bounce back here at Shawnee. Yes, don't know yet how good Shawnee is. Shawnee went 0-3 in non-district games, played really quality competition. 4-0 in district, but they've also played the four weakest teams in the district. <laughs> they are starting a tough stretch now. So um, we'll know more about Shawnee on Friday night. We'll know more about Kuwait on Friday night. Can they get back on track? And as always, uh, you can get Barry's column on the top games in the Tuesday edition of the Tulsa World right there. And also uh, pick up a Tulsa World on Friday for a preview of all those night's games happening Friday night. Saturday, they've got all the game stories and the recaps and the pictures from the photography staff. Sunday, Bill Hastings column, uh, the morning after column where he kind of picks a, a usually picks a topic uh, after Friday night's action. And then he's got another, uh, he's talking some press release this week also. Yes, in Friday's paper, we will have the latest installment <laughs> on Braylon Presley and his family.
And always go to okpreps.com for all their coverage online. Fox 3 Game of the Week, as we said, that's going to be Edmond Santa Fe at Broken Arrow. We will be live at 620 uh, to preview that game Friday night and at 1015, extended highlights and highlights of other big games. 11 o'clock, the return of high school football tonight after one week off and during fall break. So our 30-minute show at 11 o'clock on Friday night. Lots of highlights, reaction, expert analysis from Barry Lewis. He'll join us live there from Broken Arrow. So make sure you watch then. And you can always go to fox 3com and click on the high school football tab to get all of our high school football coverage right there online.